Yo, what's up guys? It's Mike here again. I want to make one more video about the exhaust. I know these videos are getting kind of old, but uh, I've had quite a few uh, comments left asking if I could do uh, the difference between the Borla attack and the mid muffler delete on a scat pack. So I was able to do this, although we were at work, so it's not as in depth as I would have liked it to have been. But I did get a startup of his, a startup of mine, and a few revs. So we should get somewhat of a comparison. It should be enough for you to decide whether you would, uh, which system you would like. Uh, so I would want to do a huge shout out to Bill. Thank you for uh, bringing your car to work and uh, giving me these uh, shots. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you guys have not yet uh, subscribed, please help me out and give me a subscribe. Leave a comment down below and uh, we'll get right into the video. All right, so Bill's car is a uh, 2014 SRT Super B. Uh, it is a 392 6.4 liter V8, just like the ones that are in uh, the 15s through the 20s. So it should be a good comparison. So we'll get right into uh, the startup and we'll compare the startup of a Borla attack system. And then we will cut to mine, which is a 2019 scat pack. <laughs> So I'm not 100% sure of what happened uh, when I did the startup of mine. Uh, it was a cold start. It had been sitting there for uh, 24 hours or so. So I'm thinking what happened is when my car uh, started that it maxed out the microphone that is on my phone. I just bought a uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And apparently the microphones on these uh, phones uh, can't handle a lot because when my car... Uh, started as you could tell it did have kind of a weird like cutout I guess you would say so I will put up uh, the startup from when I first got it done uh, the only difference is that it will not be on the same camera so like I said I'm using my phone currently but when I uh, first got the exhaust done I was using a uh, GoPro uh, GoPro 7 so Maybe uh, the qualities of the microphones between the phone and the GoPro are maybe a little different, but I I really wouldn't think so. So uh, I will give you one more uh, startup of my car, and then we'll go from there. the sound of yours but mine's louder oh yeah all right guys and that was uh the difference between uh the borla attack system and a mid muffler delete on a 392 which one did you prefer leave a comment down uh below explain uh what you thought and which one you would want on your car my uh, personal uh, thoughts on, on the difference would be, I think the Borla exhaust, while it, it does sound good, I liked it a lot. Uh, if I had to explain it in my own words, I would think that the Borla is more of a show car type of exhaust 
Uh, the exhaust tips looked really nice. They matched his car. I mean, it uh, really complimented his car. The sound was great. It was really deep, really uh, throaty. Uh, and I, I would think that uh, the difference between that and the mid-muffler delete is the mid-muffler sounds more race car. It sounds more raw. Uh, with my car, uh, whenever you give it a bunch of revs, you get a lot of uh, crackles or pops or backfires, whatever you call it. You get a lot of that. And with uh, the boiler exhaust, you didn't really hear any of that. So that might be a deciding factor in which one you want. If you like uh, uh, the crackles, the pop pops, whatever you want to call them. Uh, if you like that kind of thing, then the mid muffler delete would definitely be the way you wanted to go. Uh, the Borla, like I said, uh, I think he said he paid $800 for the exhaust. Uh, he did the work himself. I think he said he got it off a website. It was called Auto Anything, and eight hundred dollars is definitely the cheapest I've seen. Every website I've seen, it's been somewhere anywhere from twelve to sixteen hundred dollars. So, uh, it it is a little expensive. Uh, I mean, depending on what you're uh, wanting to do, but uh, I am happy with my mid muffler delete. And he is happy with his uh, Borla exhaust. So it is totally up to you and what you think and what you like. So like I said uh, before, leave a comment down below. Tell us which one you like, uh, which one you don't like. Maybe some of the reasons that you do or you don't. Uh, and I guess that'll wrap it up for this video. Uh, like I said before, uh, please subscribe. Give me a like. Uh, until next time, have a great day.